Welcome to Emmer and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family's channel. Today was a sad day because we had to take Ember to the emergency vet veterinarian clinic here in Ottawa. And um, she's been here for 24 hours from a sick stomach from eating a bone from Rend. It was a dried shrimp. And uh, that's what we think made her sick, anyways. But she vomited and was just feeling really, I'm really tired and quiet for her, even though she had a little bit of a quiet spaniel. And uh, so we brought her here after she did some really terrible bloody diarrhea. And this is her journey home to us. I tried to hope that it would go at home, but once we saw the bloody diarrhea, we brought her here. And they said she was quite dehydrated. And so they kept her overnight. So now we're 24 hours later and we're gonna pick her up. Coley, Coley, where's Ember? Look at the lonely yard. No Amber. Cole, where's Amber? Is she coming back soon? Cole, where's Amber? Get Amber today? Mommy's gonna go get Amber today, right now at the vet, okay? We'll see Amber soon? Cause I know you're missing her a lot, right? Are you missing Amber a lot? Yeah, are you looking for, do you think she's over there? Looking for the squirrelies or Amber? Okay, let's go get Amber, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. funny bump on her shoulder from the vet. They wanted to keep her hydrated. So they did subcutaneous fluid under her shoulder, uh, under skin, right by her shoulder, I mean. So when you look at her, she kind of has this roly-poly lump there. Hopefully it'll be gone by tomorrow. It looks really odd. But she is happy to be home, and I definitely see a lot more energy in her. She's got a yellow bandage on her leg from her IV being removed. And we'll see. I think she's happy to have a bathroom again to use. Hey, sweetheart. Good girl. We'll keep you guys updated. We'll see how she is later tonight and tomorrow. I've got to try to get some food into her and her four medications that she has to take. Her anti-nausea and her antibiotic and she has some probiotic and then she has some pain meds. So we're going to try all those things and hopefully she'll feel better. How you doing? You grab some din dins now? It's a good girl. I'm gonna try to get you eating. Coley, are you hungry or something? You hungry? You have your din dins? Okay. So I took some minute rice and cooked that up for Ember. And then I've given her here's some baby beef and broth and mixed that in. And this is her one of her little small meals. We're supposed to feed her three to four times a day. So this is what she'll be getting to start with, and then I'll slowly add some kibble in and some other things. Cole is demanding out of his crate right now. He's finished his dinner and he wants out. I'm coming, you wanna come out? Come on then. Let's see if Ember ate her dinner. Did you eat? Well, you ate some. Good work, good try, eat a little bit more, okay? Good girl. So here are Ember's instructions. She is on a whole bunch of medications here. She has a pain medication, an antibiotic, an anti-nausea and vomiting. And she has a probiotic to help her tummy, which is a great thing to have. She's doing so much better today. I actually stopped the gabapentin because it was making her so groggy and gave her um, a little bit of a holistic pain medication that we use here for dogs that we've used before. 
and she'd been taking that um, just twice a day. She's had it morning and at noon, and she's had two little meals today. She had breakfast with her with her antibiotics, and she had a little lunch. She is starving, which is good. I was really worried I was going to get her home, and she wouldn't want to eat. And she's just been bugging Cole to play. She can't sleep. She slept way too much, she says, the last two days. And so she is doing much better. We have four more days of the antibiotic and I think two more days of the anti-nausea. And then we'll just see how it goes from there. She did one bowel movement today and it was still a little bit bloody, but it was completely formed. So it's just getting out, I think, what was in her. But she's doing so much better. Eh? Maybe we'll should we play with Coley later? Yeah, I know, look at that sad face. The sad face says, I'm ready to play. One walk is not enough for me. Want to take a nap? No, go walkies? Yeah, okay. So this is the, the holistic um, pain medication that we use, it's called trauma care. It can be used for people, dogs, cats, um, and we just give about 10 little drops of the syringe inside. You can give it even, um, we had one holistic vet told us we use it every half an hour with a dog that we had if it was, is, is in pain or it has great anti-inflammatory properties so she's been taking that and seems to be fine the gabapentin was just too strong for her and it was knocking her out and she is much better than uh, she was so i think that it's a better idea to try this and can give her the gabapentin if she needs it tonight <laughs> get him don't get cool who's gonna get you Oh, cool. Is she feeling better? You guys want to go out, please? Go and get him. Cool, that's enough. Cool. Good girl. Today is Ember's last day of antibiotics. She's been doing so much better. She had a nice full breakfast this morning and I'm gonna give her her normal dinner and then I'll give her a little snack tonight with her last antibiotics and then she'll be done all her medication from her emergency vet visit, right sweetheart? Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel and we'll be back soon. Hopefully Ember will just keep staying healthy and we won't feed her any more weird bones. Just maybe some regular pizzles or pig's ears, but I do think I'm probably gonna wait a little while for that. But Thank you again for watching and please subscribe. Take care. Bye.